Paul just said we haven't come into it in favourable moods. <laughs> where Captain Cook landed. Apparently. That's where he lands everywhere, this guy. He gets around. And, okay, here's a question in, in relation to coffee. What I'm going to call a, a chicken tropical. Chicken tropical. <laughs> because the pineapple makes it tropical. It, feeling like the mood's uplifted slightly. <laughs> We're Paul and Tan and welcome back to our channel. We're continuing on our adventure of a lifetime on a trip around Oz in our Troopy Simba. If you haven't seen our trip from the beginning, please jump on board and join us. If you're enjoying our content, please comment, like and hit that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. point this morning it's pretty early um, about half an hour ago we had rain so we packed down the tent quickly so that we didn't have to open it up all wet a bit later on um, we are heading to down towards Rockhampton today it's about a three hour drive have a look around down there um, Yapoon and that sort of area No, that's a good spot there. Yeah, really, really liked it. Very tidal. I didn't actually realise it would be like that. Yeah, so the tide was out when we got there yesterday. It came in at about 7pm last night, went out overnight again to at about midnight it was gone out again. And then this morning when we got up at 6ish, it was on its way back in again. So it was pretty hectic. I mean, and you could sit there all day watching it going in and out. It happened so fast. So pretty incredible. Um, we were pretty safe. We we're a long way from the water's edge, but we were watching it very carefully last night because we thought, ooh, uh, we may have to move. But everything was good. Um, I think I slept okay. Did you sleep all right? Yeah, there was a couple of rustlings around outside the tent last night. And when I shone the torch outside, there was a cow. <laughs> there was a cow right outside. So yeah, the cows just float around. Well, they don't float, they walk. But um, yeah, they're just wandering around outside. So yeah, so we're heading out. It's a pretty rough track coming in. We were just talking about what it's gonna be like after the rainy season. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty rough, but um, yeah, really, really nice spot. So if you get a chance, get out to Notch Point. I'm sure most of you have heard of it. Um, but yeah, well worth it. do it. Do the right thing. I'll let you do that, do you? Let's go.
between Rockhampton and Yapoon. Um, we're about 20 k's out of Yapoon at the moment. But yeah, some really interesting dome-shaped kind of mountain things. That one's called Mount Jim Crow. Don't know who Jim Crow is. I'll try and find out. It was pretty difficult to find anything out about the origin of the name of the mountain Jim Crow. It's believed that it could refer to the US laws that were created in the 19th and 20th century to enforce racial segregation. In recent years, this mountain is now known as Baga, returning it to its indigenous name and removing any trace of a racist past. It's been a pretty um, uneventful drive down from Notch Point really today, hasn't it? Very boring, uh, lots of trucks, lots of roadworks, not much to see. So I hope Lapoon, Lapoon, I hope Yapoon is uh, nice because we're ready. Oh, there's some more of those things over there. Yeah, um, yeah, we're ready for a stretch and a. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the uh, gateway to Great Keppel Island and things. I mean, we're not going on any more boat trips, but. We'll have a look when we get there. Yeah? Okay. Just to give you a little bit of background, we're at... Um, where are we? Yapoon. <laughs> We're at Yapoon. Um, we are probably going to stay here tonight because we got talked into it, pretty much. Um, there's apparently a lot to see. It's blowing its butt off here at the moment. So we're just going to do a few little walks and check out some lookouts this afternoon. This is the kind of scenery. It's pretty terrible, actually. Pretty horrible scenery. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to check out some lookouts and get the lay of the land and find somewhere to stay. There's plenty of places around, so yeah, we're going tackling another uphill walk to the Double Heads Lookout, so apparently it's not very far. Hope not. The people in the tourist bureau were saying that um, the water is a bit smelly at the moment because it's what did she say they said it's algae to do with the coral um, and you can kind of see it floating out there on the water sound like a brown film can't smell anything here but you could definitely smell it in town spectacular coastline it would be really nice if it wasn't windy but it's coming right into the beaches that brown stuff it's pretty nice though big walk up here far out we've still got another one to go oh here we go how you doing there <laughs> it's a long way up it's not that far actually i think it's just um lethargy has set in today yeah we're struggling a eh? big time today i think starting off the morning with four hours in the car non-stop was um not ideal not whinging though i mean the view is mm. pretty spectacular from up here but it's pretty dry <laughs> pretty much of a trudge to get here uh, okay wow well, that's it yeah not a bad view from up here though, hey? <laughs> okay, so it's time to be just a little... Oh, hang on, what's the tank up? It's time to be just a little bit honest here. Um, we've arrived at Yapoon. And what did you say to me? <laughs> Paul just said, we haven't come into it in favourable moods. <laughs> We um, haven't given it its 
it's best time to shine, have we? No, <laughs> we, we kind of arrived just after lunch and it was, we were like hangry and the drive here was the road was shit out. Frippin' horrible. Honest. It was a yeah. horrible road. There's road works everywhere. Yeah. And it was very average trucks and all sorts. We were very hungry. We were hangry. We went to the information place and they told us how amazing it was. And I think it could be. I think it could be on a okay. day. Yeah, I mean, look at the weather. The cl it's cloudy, it's blowing its flippin' butt off. We're and there's a walking. stink of algae. No, but that's from the coral. Yeah, but it thing. smells. Yeah. It's just smelly. But also... Oh, hang we'll on. Walk. Wait, wait, before that, what? we went up the main street, like the foreshore, and it was a quarter to two, and everywhere was closing at two o'clock, so we couldn't get any lunch, so that made us even more well, cheesed off. The kitchens off. were already closed. Yeah, so that made us even more cheesed off. So then we, we had to go to the pub, which, you know, it wasn't a bad thing, and we did have a huge well, meal, which I think has put us into a coma. <laughs> <laughs> We're in a food coma right now, so that's not a good light. Like that is worse. Yeah, that's we've both put on three stone. <laughs> yeah. We're wandering around in in the hood, so it's not presenting that well. No, it's not. Okay. We're just, yeah, we're wandering up the main... Turning left here. Oh yeah, we're back at the caravan park. Yeah. So we've booked, we've booked into a caravan park which was sold to us based on its tropicalness and we can't see anything tropical at all about the caravan park so okay and it's it's not bad there's nothing wrong with it it's just not tropical i had a different view yeah so you know tainted perspective again so i feel like we just need to finish off today and like just right start, off, start, start again tomorrow yeah start fresh tomorrow um we kind of started out with a bad attitude so didn't we well, only because I broke something and I've oh. had to spend some money to fix it. We're only doing a good deed. Yeah, and now... So shall we tell them? Well, it doesn't matter really. It's it does, like, it does. Because like, eh? it was because it was, a, it was a good deed that you were doing. Okay, this is the story. We were at Notch Point last night and a couple of really lovely Swedish backpackers, yes, you heard it right, Swedish backpackers, one girls... Was Dane. One was one Dane. One was Danish, yeah. yep. Came across to us with and said, do you guys by any chance have a connector that will blow up a mattress? And we didn't. So we kindly thought we'll get the uh, air compressor going and blow up the mattress. And in the meantime... With a different fitting. With a different fitting. And so we, there we are having the air, air compressor on the mattress for like 15 minutes and the air compressor literally shits itself. So we've now got no air compressor. So. Yeah, that wasn't good. Their mattress wasn't properly blown up. We were just trying to be kind. And we ended up literally $300 out of pocket because we've had to go and buy another one today. So, yeah, it's just been a write-off. So we're going to... I always thought things would be a bit different if I was approached by two Scandinavian backpackers. <laughs> yeah, are. yeah, it just went to poo. So here we are, negative thoughts today. We're going to finish off for the day today and just start fresh tomorrow. Because tomorrow, oh, tomorrow we have to go to, to Rockhampton to get an attachment for the new air compressor that we just bought because we can't make it work properly in the way we want it to. So, you know, that's a small thing. So, au revoir. And we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> we'll come back with smiles on. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Morning. We've woken up fresher and in a better mood. <laughs> We hope. We found a coffee shop, so that's always good. So we're just going to grab a coffee before we have breakfast. It's just near the caravan park. So, just reminding you we're in your poon. Um, yeah, we'll maybe do a quick drive around today. There's sun's no, out. There's no wind, the sun's out. So hopefully we'll have a better vibe. Sorry about the rant yesterday. <laughs> Never mind. Look at this gorgeous tree in front of us. That's a flame tree, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. So we found a cute little coffee shop near the caravan park. That's where we've got old mate to go. We've just come for a coffee and just had a couple of toasties and kind of cheated. But 
on an upside, that means we can get away earlier this morning without faffing around with breakfast, yeah? So, and we got a deal, didn't we? Coffee and toasty for $10. That was pretty good, that's each, but I thought that was pretty good. So anyway, this little place is called Two Sisters. It's in Yapoon. Um, yeah, the coffee's good. Actually, it's probably one of the better coffees I've had. Okay, here's a question in, in relation to coffee. So, as you know, coming from Western Australia, we're, we have a thing for long lax topped up. Well, if you ask for one of those over here, they laugh at you, or they look at you rather quizzically and don't know what you're talking about. So, we've been trying different things, and we still haven't got what we want yet, because lattes are usually too milky, yeah. cappuccinos are not very strong, um, yeah, so we haven't really got the right combo. But this this morning we've got a double shot latte. It's not bad, is it? It's getting closer. It's getting closer, but long necks topped up for a WA thing, obviously. So if anyone from the Eastern States can tell me or tell us what is the equivalent of a long neck topped up, and I'm talking a damn good one, because it's <laughs> we haven't had a fabulous coffee since we left. So guys at Barco, our local coffee shop, we miss you. Can you please send some hot coffees over our way because we need them. Um, yeah, so we, we're struggling a bit with the coffee, but we've just been making our own. Good old grounded drops doing their thing. Um, yeah, well, when we make our own, we're, they're, um, they're Yeah, our notch. own are good. Yeah. yeah, our own are really good. But when we're out and we want to take away, we get a bit flummoxed as to what to ask for. So yeah, if you know anything about coffees please help us out um your help would be appreciated signing out Quite nice. Still getting a bit blustery out here, eh? Um, we're at Emu Park, which is a little town south of Yapoon. Um, we're looking for some sites this morning. We thought we're not leaving Yapoon without exploring some of it at least. So it's a much nicer day and I think all the brown stuff in the water, you can still see it, is floating in towards your boon. So we're actually okay out here at the moment. It's quite pretty. Low tide again. I don't know what this actually is though. This is a strange little jetty. I don't know what's underneath it. Nothing. It's a brick wall. We're on a big brick wall that goes out into the water. This actually is a nice little town, isn't it? It seems like yeah. it's all fresh and clean and all that. Feeling like the mood's uplifted slightly. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's explore. I guess in full winds it's designed to you can see all the oh, little holes in holes the pipes and also these tubes obviously so we're not going to complain because it's not windy today it's actually really nice but when it is windy 
I'd imagine this would play out quite a song. How cool though, so this is where Captain Cook, where so he landed. And he named Kettle Bay. He named it. Can we get down to that lookout? Now this is lovely. This is what we signed up for. <laughs> Oh, it gives you a bit of a an idea about what's in front of you. Good uh, good afternoon. We are sitting here biding away some time at um what's it called? Agnes Water. Agnes Water. I'm just getting bitten by ants. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, we've rocked into Agnes Water and um, gone to the information place to find out where we can camp. There's no free camping around, so that's okay. So we're looking for a caravan park. So we rock into the NRMA, which is the first one, and it looks pretty busy, but she said, oh, we possibly could fit you in, but we don't have any power, so we can't tell you. We can't access the booking system. So we're like, okay. And then, then she said, can you just come back or give us a call in a little while and we'll let you know if we can fit you in. So in the meantime, we're sitting here at Agnes Water Beach, thinking, okay, where can we find a coffee shop? So we're going to go for a walk, I think, because, um, yeah, this, oh, ants, I'm sorry, I'm sitting in an ant's nest. I'm, to move. Um, I'm just going to walk over here. Yeah, it's, it looks pretty nice, though. Um, if, any, if anyone knows anything about this place, it is that um, so it's called part of it, a little town up the road is called 1770 and it's called that because it's where Captain Cook landed in 1770. So it's pretty cool, pretty iconic. Um, they've even got a lifeguard on at the beach and apparently this is the first part of Queensland where you can actually surf as you go, come down from the north. So. There's actually waves here that are okay to swim in because the beaches are notorious for uh, sharks and stingers and crocs. So it's pretty safe here apparently. So anyway, we're gonna go and see if we can find a uh, coffee shop and some power so we can get a campsite, hopefully, fingers crossed. I think that's the caravan park through there. So it's pretty central to the beach, as you can see, and to everything else. It's just a matter of, it's just a matter of getting in. So we're gonna go for a bit of a stroll. It's nice and green here. Yeah. Catching a bit of reflection. Yeah. Yeah. So. Of your good self. No, of the sun of me. Oh, we're having we're having chicken tonight. Time for a decent meal. Just a couple of olives, just for because I can. Paul's about to fire up the weather. Boom. Wait for it to heat up. And we're good to go. Hi guys <coughs> and good morning to our first proper day first full day here at Agnes Water um, we've got a couple of things that we want to see today and this is the first one this is the paper bark nature walk at Reedy Creek um, many of you or some of you may have seen this one this is a I think it's a fairly Instagrammable place but it just looks like a really nice walk so it's a heritage bush heritage listed place um, And it does a, obviously does a loop, 400 metres. Hmm. Looks like it might be interesting. It's supposed to be very pretty, so. I don't think there'll be any water in the creek. No. Okay, this place is magical already. 
Does it remind you a little bit of Boronup, but on a different level? Wow. Oh, it's like a fairyland. <laughs> So impressed with that um, paper bark walk that we did actually walk it a couple of times we just couldn't take it all in it was it was not very long but it was so pretty and I don't know we're always into ferns and they've got a like a unique climbing maidenhair fern there that just takes over everything it's just so pretty so yeah we um, we're now across the road um, across the main road and there's a another track that's going to the Red Rock Trail. I think that's what it's called. So we're heading for a walk, but it's um, Spring Beach, I think. Spring Beach, yeah. yeah. So oh, yeah, we're actually very close to the water, but I don't think we go down onto the beach, but the trails are set up beautifully. They're all marked and um, like, or, not boardwalks, but yeah, pathways are made. I guess it would be very slippery and inaccessible if they didn't have this. But yeah, we're going to go for a bit of a stroll and see what it turns out to be. This is a turtle nesting beach, apparently, from November to March. Um, so I'm not sure if we'll see anything, but the water sounds good and it's just the perfect day for walking. So we're going to give it a crack. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can see too many turtles. This is how the other half live. See all those houses up on the cliffs there? Mm. Bucket list stuff. <laughs> we're pretty, we're pretty stoked with just being on this beach, but then you look over there yeah, and you think, yeah. yeah, that's next level. We're just going to head up to the headland. We can get a better view of lay of the land. Do a bit of scr scrambling. want to take a photo at the Captain Cook Monument and it's interesting how a lot of people that are tourists 
especially the um, older generation, take photos on iPads. So I don't know if they did, but usually the handbag opens up and all the iPads come out and I'm thinking, they don't take good photos. <laughs> oh, look at that water. See if you see through here. This looks like a damn good spot for a swim. Huh? It does, but look through here. <laughs> it's actually a bit of a, there's a current running through the centre of that. Can you see it? Mm. Yeah, it does look like a good spot for a swim. I expected more. This is where Captain Cook landed. Apparently. That's where he lands everywhere, this guy. He gets around. He certainly gets around. He's been just about everywhere we've been on this Queensland coast, which yeah. makes sense. Come to the end of the point at the town of 1770 and this is a um, circuit lookout at the point we think it's called Bustard as in Bustard that's the bird bay um, we thought we'd do the incline first hopefully it's just a one-way incline <laughs> we jump off at the top <laughs> look at this I reckon these are ferns. Yeah. Pretty cool. Ocean's a big drop down that side. delights do we have tonight on the menu? Well, it's just a pizza really. It's a bit special. Why I'm is it special? Because sure. um, I made it. Yeah, yeah, because you made it. Yeah, um, it's actually got leftovers. So yeah, that's it, leftovers. We've got, um, we've got some pepperoni, we've got some chicken schnitzel, garlic chicken schnitzel, and we've also got some lemon and herb chicken and yeah. yeah just stuff that's left in the fridge that I really needed to use up so no ham it's what I'm gonna call a, a chicken tropical chicken tropical <laughs> because the pineapple makes it tropical in the meantime we what we do is we cook two um, but we can't cook them at the same time so with, they're always shared so um, yeah we take one out we stuff it down and then <laughs> and okay. then this one this guy's just gone in so pretty regular thing and you know a bottle of wine and yeah it's all good things are good we're actually we're actually just planning the next leg of the trip so heading down the coast excited to do a few things I'm not letting you know what we're doing yet but excited to view, do a few things and I'm catching up with one of my really good friends so that's exciting too and we'll be spending some time um, near where she lives and hopefully looking around that area a little bit, I think. What do they call that area? Nam uh, Nambour. 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 Yep, down Nambour. Um, and we'll probably go to the um, Glasshouse Mountains, yep. all that sort of area. Oh, Queensland, so much to do. We're never leaving. It's like getting like that, hey? Mm. Um, but yeah, we're uh, heading out of Agnes Waters tomorrow. Water. Water, sorry, singular. Um, it's, it's been cool. nice. Yeah, it's good here. It's nice. We've yeah. enjoyed it, haven't we? Mm. It's been a good stay. Chilled. We've actually just sat around pretty much all afternoon, which has been good because yeah. we need that. We did some washing, did some stuff, and had a bit of a walk this morning. Mm. It was good. All right, so we'll get into the pizza and we'll uh, talk to you either later or tomorrow when we're packing up. Yeah.
exciting as it? <laughs> I thought it would be better than that. Oh, I'm just trying to get the lemon thing done. Thanks again for watching and supporting our channel. Please like, share and subscribe to keep up with our Big Oz adventure. If you're keen to watch some of our other trip episodes, here's some links. Thanks again for your support and see you all next week. Cheers! Thank you.